students, welcome to introduction to nanoscience and nanotechnology lecture number 15. So I'm Dr. Professor Ahmad. In today's lectures, uh, we will have a discussions on the melting point of a substance at the uh, nanoscale. So let's proceed towards uh, today's lectures. Uh, so you know that melting point of a substance is uh, one of the physical properties of uh, the materials. Uh, so we to, in today's lecture, we have to look at uh, the, the, the melting point of a material, especially when we reduce the size of the uh, materials. So, uh, first of all, uh, before proceeding towards the, uh, the effect of the uh, melting point on the uh, reduced size material, that is the nanoscale material. So, first of all, we should have macroscopic definitions of the melting point. That is, uh, first of all, we should define what is a uh, melting point. So, melting point uh, is basically a temperature at which the atom, ions or molecules in a substance have enough energy to overcome the intermolecular forces uh, that hold them in a fixed positions and a solid. So, that is, uh, that is the more formal definitions for uh, melting point. So now, what it has to do with the with the nanostructure? That is, when we have reduced size materials. So now you know that uh, in nano size, uh, we have already uh, discussions, a formal discussion that majority of the atom they are lying at the surface. Uh, so when the atom they are lying at the surface, so here you can see that at the surface, uh, the atom normally they are in contact with the less atom. Uh, inside that particular element, or that that molecule. So here you can see that we have a surface atom. So this surface atom, it is in contact only with the three atom. So unlike that, we have an atom that is inside that material. So it is in contact uh, with a nearby uh, seven atom. So what we see here, uh, since this atom, this surface atom, uh, there is in contact with the less atom. So uh, these surface atoms they require less energy to move. Why? Because uh, they are in contact with the fewer atom of the substance. So what actually happened? Uh, we have as a result we have lower melting point for the nanostructure materials. I mean it requires for uh, lateral temperature for smaller temperature for the material to melt and nanostructures that is uh, with the size smaller than 100 nanometer then for are uh, the bulk uh, materials. So uh, the reason for that is the surface energy. So as the surface energy uh, increases I mean that we have already discussed in the previous lecture that the reduced size material or the nano size materials uh, they have uh, increased surface energy. So with the increased surface energy, uh, you know that uh, we have the particles. Uh, uh, I mean, we have the nano size particles, uh, which has uh, the nano size particle or the nano material. Normally, they have the uh, they have the increased surface energy. So this increased surface energy actually it's responsible for lowering the melting point of the nanostructures are the nanomaterials. So here you can see we have a reference, uh, a reference graph from the paper here. This is the, uh, I mean that particular paper from 1992, it's quite old paper, but here you can see that that was basically the time where the nanoscience was being in the, uh, at the developed stage. So here you can see that, that how the melting point is being affected by the reductions uh, in size of the material. So here you can see that uh, we have the melting point of the materials. I mean, it's, uh, that is quite high. Uh, I mean, uh, when we have the dimension, of, uh, we have the size uh, above 10 nanometers. So here you can see that once the size has been reduced uh, below 10 nanometers, so here you can see that is how rapidly uh, the melting point is being dropped. So th this is, I mean, one of the practical example for uh, the reduction of si uh, the reductions of, uh, I mean, uh, the lowering of the melting point with the reduction of size of the uh, materials. So here is a comparisons. We have the tables where we have compared that what actually happened uh, at the nanoscale and the micro scale. So uh, in that comparison, you can see that uh, the left most that is here we have the majority of the atom. 
So, uh, at the bulk scale that is the micro scales we have almost all the atom on the inside of the object. So, unlike this uh, at the nano scales uh, we say that majority of the atoms split between the inside and the surface of the object. So, uh, I mean with further reduction of the sizes so the number of atom at the surface are more than at the volume. Now, what actually happened? Uh, if we trying to change an object size, so uh, at the micro scale or at the bulk scale, uh, it has very small effect on the percentage of the atom on the surface. So if we have, uh, I mean, an object at the bulk, and if we want to reduce uh, that object size, so I mean, it has a very less effect on the surface atom. Uh, so, unlike that, if we have an object and we reduce its size uh, in the nano, so it has a significant effect on the surface atom. I mean, we have with the reduction in size of the materials, uh, we get a significant percentage of the atom on the surface as compared, as compared to the volume. So, uh, changing uh, change in this, uh, the size of the object significantly change uh, the percentage of the atom on the uh, on the surface so that is something very special link with the uh, with the nanomaterials and then uh, when it's come to the melting point so in case of the bulk materials uh, the nanometer uh, the melting point does not depend on the size I mean as long as the materials lying at the bulk range that is at the micro uh, I mean at the macro scale uh, that is uh, bigger than 10 raised to power minus 7 uh, or 10 raised to power minus 6, I mean the size is bigger, so uh, I mean uh, the melting point is not affected by the reduction of their size, I mean as long as we are at the bulk scale, I mean we are not in the formal nano scale, but if we lower, if we reduce the size and the nano range, I mean we coming inside the nano range, I mean once we have uh, the size of the material at least one dimension less uh, than 100 nanometer, so the more we reduce the size, uh, the more lower, I mean the lower we will have the melting point of the particle or the material. So in nano materials, once we have, once we are in the nano range, so further reduction in size will further lower the melting point of the material. So that is quite significant for uh, the nano material. So that is all we have for this lecture. Hope you enjoy a lot. So stay tuned for the next lecture because from next lecture we will start on uh, uh, we will we will start a discussion on a nanomaterial synthesis technique. I mean we will discuss different synthesis technique with the help of which we can synthesize different type of nanomaterial. So stay tuned with that lecture and I hope you will learn a lot with that lecture. Till then, bye bye.